insects fossilized in amber. Bad day for the bug, but a great day for paleontologists who explore the mysteries of ancient life. Now this tiny piece of amber holds all kinds of scientific secrets. But how do scientists use ancient insects and other fossils to study Earth's history? If a tree is injured or a branch breaks, sometimes this resin will flow out. And after it hardens and fossilizes over a period of millions of years, it becomes amber. The youngest amber is about a million years old. The oldest we found is about 345 million years old. Anything younger than a million years, we call something else, copal. Dating fossils in amber is pretty amazing science. But how do scientists date way back in geological history, in solid rock? To answer this, we're going to have to dig deep, deep into Earth's rock history. Scientists use radiocarbon dating to date rocks up to 50,000 years old. But to date ancient Precambrian and other rocks billions of years old, geologists use different techniques, including potassium argon dating and uranium lead dating. From a distance, these rock layers look like pages of a giant book. Each layer of sediment was deposited during a certain geologic period. And like pages of a book, together they tell a bigger story, like the history of our planet. If you stack all the layers of sedimentary rock together since the beginning of life on the planet, they represent what scientists call the geologic time scale. Because there's no place where we can actually see all the rock layers that show Earth's history, we'll be using a simulated video journey. So let's start at the beginning and travel up the geologic time scale from the past to the present, marking some geological events in chronological order. So we'll be using our Geekivator to travel through geologic time. So this stuff is Precambrian basement rock, when the first life on Earth formed over four billion years ago, with the first single-celled organisms. It's exposed in a handful of states, including New York, Michigan, Wisconsin, and Arizona. So hang on, as we zoom ahead some 3.7 billion years to when the first life forms first existed in the oceans. Okay. The fossilized life forms in these rocks are studied by paleontologists to determine the geologic period and age of the rock layers. And by knowing the age of the fossils, scientists can understand the rates and types of evolutionary change. These rocks and their fossils formed during the Cambrian period, about 540 million years ago, during the Paleozoic era. Lots of cool stuff emerged during the Paleozoic, beginning with complex marine life forms and followed by plants and fungi. Eventually, insects started colonizing the land. Next stop, 350 million years ago. Whoa. 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 Right here, during the Carboniferous period of the Paleozoic, the first vertebrates already had a foothold on the land, and vast forests of primitive trees formed. That's one reason most of the world's coal was deposited during this period. Other cool stuff like this crinoids lived then. And look, here's a shark vertebrae. Make sure your seatbelts are fastened. We're about to reach 251 million years ago! Just as some really complex creatures began inhabiting the planet, a catastrophic event occurred called the Permian-Triassic Extinction Event, when much of the life on the planet became extinct. Kind of a bummer for all those creatures, but a cool mystery for you to explore on your own later. Woohoo! Right here? is where dinosaurs became the dominant life form between 250 and 70 million years ago, during the Mesozoic era. Tiny mammals started to appear then too, but they had to watch out for dangers like Tyrannosaurus. Watch your heads. Okay, here during the Cenozoic era about 65 million years ago, most dinos died out. Termed the age of mammals, this era marked the spread of grasses, and mammals began to diversify, spreading across the landscape. Including some pretty cool stuff too, like giant bears, mastodons, and whoa, they 
saber tooth. These guys are also part of this fossil record. Oh, getting up there now. Our human ancestors evolved 200,000 years ago, relatively recently, and started looking like us during the Quaternary period. So humans missed hunting dinosaurs by some 64 million years. Top floor, modern time. Everybody off. In our Geekavator whisk through geologic time, we got a glimpse of how much amazing information about the history of the planet we can gain from dating rocks and finding fossils. So next time you find a fossil, dig into where it fits in Earth's geologic history and never stop exploring your world. <laughs>